this integral, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. I'm going to be looking at the integral of cotangent squared x dx. Before we get started on this, I'm going to point out some um, identities that you probably need to have memorized in order to be able to work this out. The most common one is sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. I can solve that for anything that I might need. I could solve it for cosine squared or sine squared. In this case, I will be needing the cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. You should also have your quotient identity memorized. So cotangent squared x is equal to cosine squared x over sine squared x. And then your reciprocal identities, cosecant squared x is equal to 1 over sine squared x. So all three of these, at some point in time, when working out this integral, I will use all three of those. All right, so to start with this integral, I'm going to first do the quotient identity and substitute it to read the integral of cosine squared x over sine squared x dx. And then the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to take a look at that numerator right there, cosine squared x, and I'm going to choose to substitute 1 minus sine squared x in the numerator. So I'll have a 1 minus sine squared x all over a sine squared x dx. Now we're going to take this rational function and break it up into two separate individual ones. So this will be the integral of a 1 over sine squared x minus a sine squared x over a sine squared x and then our dx. All right, whenever you do that and you break up a rational uh, fraction into two individual ones, you should then check your work, take these two, subtract them, and see if you can get back that original function. All right, in which case we can because we've got common denominators and we subtract the numerators and it's going to be equivalent. When we get to there, it becomes a straight, um, easy integration here because um, this is going to turn into our cosecant, and this is going to turn into 1. So we'll have the integral of cosecant squared x minus a 1 dx. I can then easily integrate each of these individually. This one um, you should hopefully have memorized as negative cotangent x, and this will integrate to just a plain x. So I'll have a negative cotangent x minus x and then plus c. So in all honesty this was a pretty straightforward integral. No u substitution necessary, no integration by parts, nothing like that. Just a lot of trig identities that needed to be substituted in there so that you could see the direction to go. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping please share with your friends so that they can benefit as well and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks!